If you've been around for a while, you know one of my favorite ways to shop secondhand is to do online thrifting. I feel like for someone who's a size 16, mid-size, plus size, whatever you want to call it, I do have luck sometimes at the thrift store and at flea markets, but I find some of my best like specific gems that I'm looking for when I thrift online. So that's Poshmark, ThredUp, Depop, Mercari, etc. And I am like scrolling these apps all the time pretty regularly, honestly, because especially when I see like a new trend or an item that I really love. I will always try to find it secondhand first and most of the time it's available. So I did collect quite a few things over the last few months. A lot of dresses, maxi skirts, etc. You will definitely see what kind of fashion era I'm in right now. It's kind of actually all over the board. But I thought I would do like a good old fashioned sit down, try on thrift haul and show you everything that I've picked up. I'm not gonna be like fully styling these pieces. This is just gonna be a haul. So if it wasn't 10.02 in the morning, I would probably like pour myself a glass of wine and do a little thrifty, tipsy, happy hour kind of vibe, but you can do that if you want. It's just a little early for me. So anyways, I have a lot to cover. We have kind of a big pile of clothes here, so let's jump in. All right, first we're gonna start with Poshmark. I feel like Poshmark is my go-to when I'm looking for like very specific items. Like if I'm searching for an item by name, Poshmark is usually my go-to. But I can tell you for any secondhand platform that you are trying to thrift on, the search bar and filters are your best friend. You can't just search through like 50,000 things that are available because you're gonna burn out so quickly. Like I find that when I put in my size or colors or styles that I'm looking for or search for specific items or whatever, it's a lot easier. It definitely pairs down a lot of this just fluff that's available. So anyways, the first thing that I thrifted, this was actually probably like two or three months ago, but I have been wearing the hell out of these and that is my Adidas Sambas. These are the OG Sambas. Like I think I had a pair of these in maybe fourth or fifth grade. They were very popular in the 90s and they are so comfortable. I wore them around Japan. I wore them around LA. I've worn them like walking to and from places. I never had to break them in. They're so, so comfortable. These were pretty expensive. I wanna say someone was listening them on Poshmark for like $160, but I did have like $120 in credit, so that's why I got them. I ultimately paid like, I guess $40 plus shipping for these, so I'm pretty happy with that. They're my new personality trait. I love them with maxi skirts. I love them with pants, like cargo pants like this. I would easily just throw these on, throw a little black crossbody bag and like full outfit ready to go. They go with everything. They're honestly so cute. They're definitely gonna be my shoe of the summer, or at least like my black shoe of the summer. Love them with trousers, like they're just the best. Love them. Next up, we have an item that I actually posted about in my stories a few months ago. So I probably picked this up like again, two, three months ago. And it is this hoodie that is, I guess, technically by Justin Bieber's clothing company called Drew. But I mean, I mean, if you know, you know. My boyfriend's name is Drew in case you weren't aware. And I just was like, I wanna have something with Drew on it. I think that's so cute. And so I found this teal oversized hoodie. It's in a size extra large, but it does run a little bit oversized. And I haven't gotten like a ton of chances to wear this yet, but I did wear it to a beach bonfire recently. It was very comfy, very cozy. It got a lot of compliments on it. I was like, wow, thank you. I am like a smiley face girly. I mean, I have a smiley face tattoo. I have smiley face hats and shirts. And I've just always been like, 90s generation smiley face kid, so I love this. I'm not necessarily a Justin Bieber fan. I'm not like not a fan. I definitely like some of his songs, but I just got this because it was secondhand and it had the name Drew on it. I could definitely see this styled with some really like oversized baggy ripped jeans and maybe these sambas or something like that. I think it would be really cute. So that's probably my new favorite hoodie for obvious reasons. Next up, this is like kind of a wild card. I actually showed this item in a recent YouTube short, Instagram reel, TikTok, etc. And it is this really cool Zara denim jumpsuit that kind of looks like insanely high-waisted jeans. If you haven't seen that short, I'll link it down below so you can check it out. But I saw an Instagram reel from the Bird's Papaya or Sarah where she tried on this like higher the waist, closer to God moment. And I instantly went to Poshmark, found it in my size, ordered it, and it's so cute. Haven't gotten a chance to wear it yet. Still new with tags, but I'm excited to try and style this. I actually do find this really, really cute. I sort of, I didn't get it as a joke, but I got it like for the bit, you know, cause I've always talked about how much I love high-waisted jeans. I got so many comments tagging me in her reel being like, you have to order this. So I did, I gave the people what they wanted and it's honestly iconic. Like I can't wait to style this. I think with like a belt, it's gonna be really cute. So yeah, love that. Next up, this is an item again that I wore to Japan and instantly I was like, I have a vision with what I wanna wear on my first day in Tokyo. I wanna wear like a NASCAR jacket or some kind of racing jacket because I feel like it just goes so well 
well with like the aesthetic of Tokyo, especially where we were gonna be. Just like the checkers and the red and the black. And I was like, I need to find that. So I actually ordered this one as like a last second outfit idea and I'm in love with it. I literally love this jacket so much. It was so comfortable. It's in a size extra, extra large. So it's like a bit more baggy and oversized. And actually one of my friends that I went to Tokyo with ended up wearing this one of the days as well. Cause it was just so cute. And I feel like this is definitely a statement piece obviously, but it was just so cute to wear with like black trousers. You could wear it with jeans. You could wear it with like a maxi skirt, like a denim maxi skirt with sambas. I'm not necessarily like a NASCAR girly. I mean, I am from Tennessee, so. But I just thought that this was so cute and this is the perfect one. Honestly, I would not change a thing about it. I did pay a, a lot for it, I'm pretty sure. I wanna say it was like under $100, but um, I'm gonna keep this forever. I'm gonna use it so often. And it's just such a cute jacket. I don't know what it is. This is like, if you would've told me a year ago that I'd be wearing this, I would've been like, what the hell? But I just love it, okay? I love what I love. Next up for an example for like how I mentioned before, if I see an item or like a trend or something that I really like that's fast fashion, I always try to check and see if it's available second hand first and so I found this top this is basically the 90s top of my dreams it is so cute it has all these butterflies on it kind of like almost a canvasy material I don't know how to describe it but I love the ribbons and this is originally by a brand cider I think I had seen someone post about this top in an Instagram reel I went to Poshmark it was available it was like ten dollars picked it up washed it it's so freaking cute I'm picturing this with like maybe a white maxi skirt like a white tiered maxi skirt for summer I'm very much into this sort of like corset style top and you will see coming up pretty soon I'm like definitely in an era at the moment like I'm just fully back into my 90s era I even feel like this outfit is kind of like sporty spice 90s vibes cargo pants it's just kind of a thing that I'm going through so this will go in perfectly with all of those things and I'm obsessed with it if you think it's ugly I don't care because I will be wearing it regularly this summer and I want to live my like 10 things I hate about you gothic best friend Drew Barrymore on a red carpet vibes you know what I'm saying you you know if you know you know as I mentioned I'm kind of in a bit of an era right now and that era is maxi skirts holy moly I think I have like five or six maxi skirts to show you just in this haul alone um I'm kind of going through a thing right now and this is the first one of the bunch so you will see quite a few of these and just mind your business it's fine so this one is by Old Navy I think it's like vintage Old Navy it's a size 16 and it is like kind of a cargo khaki maxi skirt I mean I definitely just pulled it out of the dryer and it is a little bit wrinkly so it probably could use like a steam or an iron and I just love it I think it's so cute I love the tie in the front I think you're able to to wear it like low-waisted or high-waisted if you want. It has a little slit in the back. It has some pockets. I just think this is gonna be so cute and like very 90s, early 2000s. I would even say with this last top, that I showed, it would look cute together. Just kind of a nice, simple, neutral, basic skirt to throw on. And like, if you're not in the mood for pants, if it's like too hot for pants, but you don't really wanna wear a short skirt cause you wanna wear a bike shorts or whatever, I feel like this is a great solution because it automatically makes an outfit look more chic. You could just throw on like a white tank top with this and it would look really cute. Some sneakers, some loafers. And I feel like that's what I love about maxi skirts right now is they're really effortless. They're like breathable <laughs> in summertime. They cover your legs if you want. I am just like an absolute stand for maxi skirts. I just think this one was maybe $10, like such a good deal. And then another one that I saw, so this is actually pretty similar to an outfit that I posted on Instagram recently. And it's like one of my favorite outfits I've worn like ever. I rented actually both of those pieces on Newly. I've done a video on them in the past, actually two of them, I'll link them down below, but it's like a rental clothing service and the prices for me weren't worth buying. So I was like, I can thrift something similar. I actually found the top from Target and then to go with kind of the same theme I found this skirt so this is actually by the brand Kathy Lee does anyone remember Kathy Lee like Regis and Kathy Lee 90s kids you will remember but I didn't know she had a fashion brand um this is so cute <laughs> this is the cutest like midi maxi skirt it's actually a color that I would much more prefer than the other one it's just more neutral it matches more things this is in a size 16 so perfect for me there's like some elastic in the waistband there's a zipper in the back and I just feel like this is gonna be so perfect with a denim corset cute simple white tank top 
top with like loafer socks, like just, oh, I love the 90s vibes. I am for sure in my 90s girl summer. Like I'm declaring it 90s girl summer from here on out. I have been posting so many like 90s inspired outfits lately and it's just really giving me a lot of joy and a lot of serotonin. So if you're feeling like stuck in your wardrobe, I would highly recommend trying something new, thrifting something, playing around in your closet, seeing what you have, seeing what you can mix and match together. I recently fell in love with like knee high boots and skirts together or just boots and skirts in general. Like I just think it's such a cute combo. So I don't know, just like play around with it, see what makes you happy because it's genuinely made me excited to get dressed again. Especially like on those days where I'm not feeling so hype about my body image. I don't know, highly recommend. Anyways, we're moving on. Next, I'm gonna show a few things that I got from ThreadUp. I often work with ThreadUp. None of this is sponsored. I bought some of this stuff with a credit and then I was actually gifted some of this stuff at a recent event that I went to with them, but I'm a loyal stan. Like I will ride for them till the end of time. I love them so much. ThreadUp is amazing if you wanna do, this is not sponsored by the way, at all. This is not part of a sponsorship. I'm just genuinely like a loyal customer. I feel like ThreadUp is a really good option for if you have like a specific color that you're looking for or a pattern or kind of a more like wide range, not like a set specific item, like a Drew House sweatshirt. Do you know what I mean? Instead, if you're looking for like a maxi dress or if you're looking for a pair of shorts or whatever, it's amazing and definitely utilize the filters. I see a lot of people being like, I don't know how influencers find all this cute stuff on ThreadUp. Like I never find anything. And I'm like, we're shopping the same app as everyone else. It's just, you have to be patient and you have to like be willing to filter down so, so, so much stuff. So anyways. I'll start with the things that I picked up at the event that I went to. They held a dinner for some of the creators who work with them and they very kindly gifted us a couple things and I am obsessed with this first thing. This is a little mini coach bag, even just with what I'm wearing right now. So, so cute. It's like so Y2K and I don't know what drew me to it. It's just got all the like little patchworks, almost like a quilt. It's so adorable. It has some lilac lining on the inside. This just feels like the perfect summer bag. Like if you're just going out for dinner, you only need to throw your phone and your wallet in here, whatever. How cute is this? I absolutely love it. And then the other thing that I got is this really cute dress by what is this by sister jane never heard of it before but okay i know i said that it was 90s girl summer but it's also prairie girl summer it's kind of both of those so you're gonna see a lot of like maxi kind of picnic-y prairie dresses and then like maxi skirts but anyways i picked out this which is just so cute and like very cottage core i honestly kind of want to wear a straw hat with it and really go like lean into the theme i love the color it's nice and breathable it's tiered really really cute love that and then for the things that i actually ordered myself first up we have a little halter top that i thought was going to be so cute and fun and it kind of reminds me of a unif sweater that i I recently thrifted and it's very like Ernie core, like very Burton Ernie vibes. And this halter top is kind of the summer version of that, honestly. I just love this. It feels very 70s. I think it would look really cute with like some cargo pants like I have on, denim shorts, whatever, overalls. It's just very simple. I got it secondhand for like next to nothing. So, so cute, love that. Next for a couple more dresses. This one, which is by the brand, listen, Z-C-S-I-A, Zixia, Zixia. I don't know, girl. It's a size extra large. It's this really cute one shoulder dress. Again, very tiered. Does this have pockets? No, it doesn't, sadly. But it's still really adorable. I think it would look really cute with some boots for summertime, some sneakers if you wanna dress it down, like throw it on and go to the farmer's market. Just very, very cute beach day, you know? So, so cute, I love it. And I just don't think I'm very much into like jeans and denim shorts and pants at the moment. I mean, minimally, but I just really wanna throw on like a maxi skirt or a a dress and just feel nice and like flowy and comfy. And that is going to be a great one to have. And then the last thing I got from ThreadUp is this maxi dress. And this is originally from Old Navy. It's a size extra, extra large. I do wish that it was an extra large just cause I feel like that would fit me better. But how cute is this pattern? This one does have pockets. I actually wore this to the actual farmer's market recently. I wore a straw hat with it and some cute Doc Martin sandals. I showed it in a recent outfits reel short TikTok. Like, what do I call that? Like a short form video? Anyway, it's got a cute little tie in the back to hold everything together. It's just nice and loose and flowy. It's perfect on a day like I wore it where I hadn't shaved my legs in a while. I needed to like cover it up. Was feeling a little pale. Didn't want, you know, to blind anyone with my legs. So this is a great one. Definitely gonna be a go-to for summertime. And then last but not least, we have none other than Depop. I feel like Depop is my least favorite of the three. And I just don't feel like I have as much luck picking up my size on there, but I did get a couple of things. The first one, 
Actually, they're all, listen, I'm not gonna like ruin it for you, but they're all maxi skirts. So the first one is again, a 90s maxi skirt, who's surprised? This is a very slinky material, which is like my favorite kind of material. I don't know how to describe it. It's like completely sweat proof. It's breathable for summer. It's stretchy for no matter what time of the month it is or how much your body fluctuates or whatever. This is by the brand C-A-R-A-N, Karan, New York. It's just the prettiest colors. I was picturing this with maybe some sort of crochet black top. This will be something that I'm gonna style in a future video for you, but just oh, the colors, the red, black, and gold, it's just really doing it for me. It's giving me so much like 90s grungy, but like girly realness and I'm a obsessed like I really love that one next up we have kind of a fail by me um but that's okay we're gonna roll with it and we're gonna make it work and it is this maxi skirt this tiered maxi skirt that is so so cute but it is brown and I did think it was black I think it was just the quality of the photos that were uploaded and it didn't specify a color but that's okay this is by the brand mud does anyone remember mud like I was obsessed with that brand in probably middle school high school it's in a size extra large it's nice and stretchy in the waist it has a cute tie in the front and listen just because it's not black doesn't mean I can't wear it I have been on the hunt for a black tiered maxi skirt and surprisingly it's been very difficult to find secondhand so keep your fingers crossed for me as I continue the hunt I could very well dye this black but I don't know if it would be the right like vibrancy that I'd be looking for so I might just hold on to this as a different option and wear it with other cute things and then just have a white one a brown one a black one a denim one and just kind of have a lot of options to choose from because if you see me this summer I am likely going to be wearing some form of long skirt or dress if you couldn't tell so this one's adorable and then last but but not least we probably have one of my favorite things that I've picked up recently I'm so obsessed with this again this is something that I've been on the hunt for at thrift stores every time I go or like flea markets and I just haven't been able to find the right one and that is a denim maxi skirt and I found this one it's so cute I will say for plus size people finding a denim maxi skirt that is cute and doesn't lean mm, like no shade but keep sweet pray and obey like I, I'm not trying to do cult vibes I'm trying to do like cute trendy girl vibes so I found this one by the brand style and co this is actually in a size 18 so because it's vintage I decided to size up and it's perfect it's seriously perfect I love it so much it doesn't have any pockets on the butt I just think that's such a cute touch it's just gonna be so fun and like a fun way to wear denim on the bottom in the summer that isn't denim shorts and that isn't jeans so that's probably like one of my favorite things I got for this entire video so yeah that was a lot um listen I may have a problem with online thrifting it's fine but I feel very satisfied with myself I can't wait to style a lot of these in a future video for you and if you have any specific questions about online thrifting that you want to see me answer in a upcoming video definitely leave them down below be happy to answer them for you but I genuinely cannot wait to wear all of these this summer so you will see all of these being worn by me very frequently I'm so happy <laughs> So I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. You can also turn on my post notifications if you wanna be notified every time I post a new video. I'm sending you all of my love. Thank you so much for being here and I'll see you very soon in my next video.